Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. I recently got a new GoPro style camera. This is the first time I'm actually going outside the GoPro brand. This is the Xiaomi 4K Action Cam. And I want to use it to, well, of course, take time lapse videos of my 3D prints. Uh, but the problem is it's a different size and it has a different mounting hardware for. Um, well, mounting. So I'm gonna have to design a new bracket for this to attach to my 3D printer for taking my time-lapse videos. Now, the great thing with 3D printing is that you can customize everything. So let's take a look at how we're going to design a new bracket for this camera. Similar to my last design, the camera is going to be clipped to the print bed. The reason for this is that with the Prusa style printers, the bed moves back and forth. And so the camera is going to have to travel with the bed. Otherwise, if you have the camera stationary and the bed moving back and forth, the video just comes out too jittery and it just doesn't look good. Now, these cameras come standard with the quarter 20 mounting threads. So we'll work around that. Here's the design we'll be working with. It's pretty straightforward and I'll go into the step by step in a few minutes. But one thing I want to point out is how I determined um, the print orientation of this. And I've got a few options and a few um, problems I may want to address. The first has to do with this overhang here. Um, with some printers that can be a big issue. So I may want to actually flip this like this so that it prints in this orientation. But a problem that that poses is the hole here. Holes do a lot better when you print them in the XY direction like this. I'll get a lot better resolution on that hole. So, you know, what do I choose? Do I choose um, this orientation in dealing with this overhang or do I choose this orientation, which would solve my overhang problem, but I'd have to deal with a uh, bad detail on this hole. Well, with my printer, I'm pretty confident that it's going to be able to handle this bridge fine. Um, and bridging is the ability to just kind of print in thin air as long as you can go from one end and you have another um, sort of edge to attach to. And if I click on this edge, I can see that that's 35 millimeters, which may be kind of pushing it. So I may see a little bit of sagging, um, but I think the Prusa will actually handle that okay. So uh, let's give this a shot. I sent this to my Prusa going with PLA 20% infill and it handled that bridge beautifully. I recently bought a Biltech flex plate for my printer and these are nice because you can just pop, yeah, well literally pop the print off of your build plates without having to worry about scraping it. The new versions of the Prusa come with their own flex plate. This is a Mark II so it didn't come with one. Next, I needed to remove the head from my bolt. So I attached a couple nuts and clamped it to my vise and then simply used a hacksaw to saw off the end. I cleaned up the edges with a file and using the bolts to attach to the vise didn't work so well because the nut would keep spinning. So I, so I attached a piece of heat shrink and clamped that to protect the threads. And then I came in and created a little slot in the center there so that I can use a screwdriver to be able to screw this into my 3D printed part. After making sure that my cut bolt could easily thread through a nut, I then attached it to my 3D printed part using a flathead screwdriver and the little slot that I had created. You want the bolt to be cutting threads into the plastic, so you should be feeling a little bit of resistance as you're screwing it in. I then attached the assembly to my camera, making sure that it's got a good tight fit there. You want it to grab the camera so that it's not moving around. And next I could simply go ahead and use the binder clip and clip it to my printer, allowing for a quick and easy solution to grab time-lapse videos of my 3D prints. You want to make sure to only attach the camera after the printer has finished all calibration moves and that none of the print moves will collide with your camera. All right, let's jump into Fusion 360 and I'll show you how I designed the bracket. The design for this model is pretty straightforward. I'll begin with a sketch on my XY plane and start with a two point rectangle. I'm going to start at the origin here and give this a dimension of 22 by 60. And then I'm going to stop sketch and we'll extrude this 10 millimeters up. Okay, next we're going to create a sketch on the front surface here. And I'm going to start this time with a center rectangle. And I'm just going to draw it up here for now. 
and this is going to be 5 by 35. I'll bring it down now. I'll dimension this edge from this outer edge and make that 5 millimeters. And next I'm going to constrain the sensor to the midpoint of this side edge here. So I'm going to hold shift and reference that midpoint triangle there. And that's all set. So I'll hit stop sketch. I'm going to select that profile I just made. And then I'm going to extrude that inwards of negative 17 millimeters. Okay, now I'm going to create the hole here for the threaded bolt. So I'll create a sketch on this top surface and I'll create a circle here. I'm going to give it a diameter of six millimeters and dimension it from the edge of 10 millimeters. And I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to grab my horizontal constraint and constrain that midpoint to the midpoint of this edge here. I'm going to hold shift to reference that midpoint triangle and there it goes stop sketch let's select that circle profile and I'm gonna extrude that inwards negative nine millimeters and that's pretty much it I'm gonna hit F for fillet and fill it all four of these sides I'm gonna go with a two millimeter fillet there click OK and now it's ready to be 3d printed all right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or just want to share your thoughts, leave them in the comments below. And if you have any tips on threading uh, bolts or screws into 3D printed parts, uh, leave those in the comments below. I'd love to uh, read them and I'm sure uh, the community would as well as we can all learn from each other. All right, guys, enjoy the week and give me a like and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'll be back next week. Take care.